Hello, David Sritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. If you've seen some of my previous videos, we do talk about the fact that No Time to Die's marketing and PR engine has been in full gear and we were very fortunate as part of The Bond Experience to be a part of it. We were on some TV shows and we were even in the Daily Mail. You should have heard the call from my mom when she thought we moved to the UK. I said, Mom, it's the Daily Mail. They get things wrong, it's okay. But one of the aspects that I was involved with, I had to talk about, and that is I was on ITV's This Morning Show. And This Morning is uh, the most popular morning show in Britain, and it's got two very incredible hosts uh, that are very gregarious, but a lot of people like them. Uh, and this is a crazy story, so I had to tell it, of course. But essentially, before I landed in London, uh, there was a lot of kind of uh, press discussions and things that people wanted me to be a part of, and I was happy to do it because it's celebratory, right? When's the next time I'm ever gonna be asked to do this? So I was kind of raising my hand left and right, and one that came through was ITV, which I'm very familiar with. That's where they show all the Bond stuff. Even, even if you're outside of, uh, of, of the UK, you know ITV. So I paid attention and spoke to the producers many times on the phone. They interviewed me, they discussed me, they talked about an angle. There was a lot of preparation and organization. When I flew into London, I was taking calls from them, making sure things were organized. They sent a car to pick me up in the morning. Um, I got dressed in this suit right here because I wanted to really represent. And all I was really told was, you know, we gave the hosts, Phil and Holly, a lot of information about you, but who knows where they're gonna take the questions. Um, and then I heard, oh, they're just, you know, they're gonna have the DB5 continuation model car on set. And I'm like, boink, this is really turning into a Bond moment. And it was going to be, of course, live. So there was going to be no mess ups whatsoever. So tell you what, let's do this. Let's go check out the seven minute excerpt that was live on this morning and then we'll come back. So seven is our next guest, David Zaritsky. Well, over the past 20 years, he's accumulated one of the biggest collections of James Bond memorabilia in the world. And after flying from his home in Philadelphia to see the stars on the, tonight's red carpet, he's joining us in the studio now with a few of his favorite pieces. And welcome. It's lovely Good to, to have you here. I wonder, Thank how you do you having. feel being so close to that iconic vehicle? Yeah, you know, it's going to be hard to find the words to speak to you. I keep just looking over there, but it's absolutely beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Have you, got, have you got any cars in your collection? I do. I have an Aston Martin 2006 V8 Vantage, right. um, but it's not this. Yeah. <laughs> A little different. 2.7 million. Yours for 2.7 million. I'll, just, I'll find it in my pocket. Yeah. Is yeah. I'll do. yeah. So you, it was your father that got you into the Bond movies, wasn't it? Yes. You know, my father was, um, it's a bit of a psychiatry dream here, but, you know, he was the type that didn't throw the ball in the backyard. But when there was a Bond film on, mm -hmm. that was our bonding moment. Yeah. That was when he pulled me in to watch together. And it's become a, a nostalgic part of my life. So there is something sort of d deeply psychological about this, with the time with your dad and, uh, and, and having that, as you say, that bonding time. It is, and, and I, I do think that, you know, the clothing, the items, the gadgets, the collection is a recapture of those moments, even as adults. Mm. Yeah. And this has become, I mean, you are a very successful businessman, but this for you has become a hobby. This has become your sort of passion in life, really. And you've got this, uh, it's the Bond Experience, isn't it? Which is sort of a website where you introduce things to different people, you go and discuss everything. Yeah, it's, uh, so the Bond Experience is really a YouTube channel where I started to do reviews of different clothing items, like I'm wearing the Tom Ford suit from the new movie right now, um, and literally going into nauseating details, thinking nobody's going to watch this except for me and my, maybe my mother yeah. would do that. <laughs> but soon enough, we started to get hundreds, thousands, and now we're up to 9.2 million viewers, you know, wow. just kind of consuming this information. And also as the, um, I mean, it, we, you call it hype, but I mean, it's not even hype for this movie because we're so desperate to get back to the cinema. This could, it, this, this could be the movie that saves cinema yeah. um, because it's all been in such a, such a mess. Uh, massively look forward to, the trailers look incredible. You're obviously very excited. Yes. Um, so as far as your, because your collection is in the basement, isn't it? <laughs> it's such a dark word, but yes, it's, it's, a, it's actually a beautiful walkout basement with lots of windows. It's not, I'm, I'm picturing the way you're describing it, a light bulb hanging above my head, <laughs> I'm cowering in the corner. Um, it is beautiful. Each 
section of the movie has its own little space for all 25 of the movies. I know we can see some of it now. It looks incredible. But you have brought some bits with you today. So what yeah. can you show us? Yeah, these were things I could fit in my luggage. Yeah. Um, so some of this is actually screen used. We've got um, Zukovsky's uh, tin from The World Is Not Enough. And this is where things are going and exploding. Could you lift that on Absolutely. 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 There you go. All right. right. And what else have you got there? I can see some so, casino tips. I do. So this is uh, from Daniel Craig's film, uh, Casino Royale. Yeah. Strictly enough, uh, the one and only club. These are actually replicas, so they're made to look like the actual ones. But this this next one is fascinating. So I actually um, purchased Le Chief's outfit from the film Casino Royale in a charity auction. Sometimes these things do go up for charity. Um, this was hiding in the pocket. No and way. I, I don't think it's ever seen in the film. It was made for the film. And this is the type of, as you know, nauseating, perfect, wonderful detail yeah. that you get in a Bond film. But it's Le Chief's business card. Oh, wow. Oh, that's just... And crazy. behind you, the bikini here as well. So which movie was this from? So this is also from Casino Royale. We're, st we're staying with the Daniel Craig theme for very <laughs> obvious reasons. But this is Solange. Uh, unfortunately, she meets one of her, you know, Bond girl demises. Yeah, yeah. Grizzly end. In and the there film. She is. But this is the, uh, this is the screen used bikini and wrap from La Perla. So the, wow. these are the things that you could put in your luggage to yeah. come over here for the premiere. Um, what, what is back in that basement that is the most special to you? You know, there is an item. It is, uh, it's Dan any, any piece from Daniel Craig is special because I really do love his tenure. It's kind of a bittersweet moment today. Mm. It's a celebration, but bittersweet. So I have his Armani leather jacket used in the airport chase scene from Casino Royale yeah. that he gets all wet. And there are portions of the jacket I can spot in the film, little rips and tears and... Oh, wow. Things like that. Is he is he your favorite? Is he your sort of number one bond, he's, or is that hard? He's not. <gasps> Maybe oh. it's my age. I know. Am I being kicked off the show? No, 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 not all at right. all. Not at all. But... It's it's Sean Connery. Yeah. Right. He's, okay. He moves like a panther. He's the template of cool. Mm -hmm. And Daniel Craig is a close second. He yeah. he also is like that. You've you've met a couple of Bonds, haven't you? I have. I've had uh, dinner with George Lazenby, and he's a character. I mean, he is Bond in real life. I don't think he was acting because he's perfect <laughs> like that. Uh, and Daniel Craig, three times. Uh, one time, being able to do a quick interview question, and it was all about style, mm. and he had wonderful answers to that. Yes. And so uh, tonight, obviously, like you say, bittersweet, really, mm. the long-awaited oh. premiere of the movie, but it is his final one. Do you think about the next Bond, who it should be? Should we ever have a female Bond? I, two questions that are great ones. I do think about who should be next. I, I know it's commercial and maybe not popular, but I like Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah? I think he's very physical. I think he looks the part. He's got acting chops. Um, should it be a female Bond? I think Daniel Craig just answered it very well. Writers and producers of the world, stop being lazy. Write wonderful parts for women that are very empowering. Don't just take James Bond off a shelf and apply a female essence to it. Mm. And that's how I feel as well. And, mm. uh, and your wife, Danielle, yes. uh, uh, she's also benefited from this, because I can imagine that you do spend, you're obviously spending a lot of money <laughs> on this, uh, yeah. kissing out this incredible basement, uh, but you also travel around the world as well. So she's, she's yes. on the back of your love of Bond. Mm -hmm. she she's, uh, she's traveled the world. She has, and you know, people approach and they go, oh, you, you must be the Bond widow. And I'm like, no, 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 no. She gets to travel and experience and meet wonderful friends. So she is a world traveler. In fact, many times she's saying, so when are we going to the next Bond event? Yeah. Uh, but also you go to the locations, don't you? You, you visit places that have been we, in, the, in the movies. We have been all over the world. And then when a new film like this comes out, we think, ah, there's a new one to do, like Matera, Italy. It's yeah. absolutely beautiful, never been there. That's on our bucket list now. And that's on your list. And do, your ch do you now watch the movies with your children? Is it something you've carried on? Not only do I watch it with my children, my children are in my videos. You know, here's 53-year-old dad with a YouTube channel. This didn't work like this. <laughs> uh, but we watch, and I do reviews with them. They're 26 and 29, and their point of view of, oh. is Bond misogynistic? Is yeah, he of yeah, a different yeah. era? Yeah. They love it. Wow, well, it's uh, it's a pleasure to be. I, I love you. the fact that you could be here on the day that the DB5 came in through. Yeah, the door, so. absolutely. And thank you for giving me this as a parting gift. I appreciate <laughs> oh, it. Oh, that and one's Phil. That's mine. But uh, we'll see what we oh. will put in. <clears> yeah, they gave you. that one to me. But <laughs> Understood. Uh, you can borrow it for a bit if you want. Thank uh, you. Thank Enjoy you the movie tonight. Indeed. Have a Don't great time at the so premiere. Much. Thank you. Right, still to come. Dr. Mark Porter will be taking us through all of today's health headlines. We'll see you after I've had another little play in the car. All right, there we go. I hope I hope I held my own. And you know, it's interesting. A couple of people asked me, "Were you nervous?" I wasn't nervous. I wasn't anxious. I was more interested in making sure I kept the the bond end up. You know, the the whole idea that 
Bond fans aren't these, you know, insane people. Well, maybe we are insane, but at least, you know, we, we can keep some sort of composure when we're being fanatical, if that's a word. And the other thing that I thought was great was the discussion was very fluid. It didn't feel like it was these staccato questions and answers. It felt like a, a comfortable conversation as I'm overusing this term, but I do feel like it was, you know, I just forgot for a second that there were six to seven cameras popping around with lights and sound men and people like that. And instead I just concentrated on the two individuals and tried to make it very similar to this, where I just speak to somebody that may or may not be there. Very interesting, I thought that um, Holly, and, and they didn't talk to me in, this, in the rehearsal about this, uh, asked about the James Bond being a woman. Um, and I was pretty emphatic about it. I kind of looked at the camera one point and said, you know, writers of the world, producers of the world, stop being lazy and write really good, strong women roles. Why you got to like take, you know, James Bond off the shelf, be unique. And I, don't th I didn't think that was a crazy thing to say. And that's something I believe. I know Daniel Craig believes it. I know the producers believe it. So I think it was a, um, uh, around solidarity of, of that, that type of aspect. So... It was fun. It was great. They were gracious. In the green room itself, I got to meet these legends. Uh, this is the president of Aston Martin who invited me and, and gave me carte blanche and said, anytime you want to come see the Motorworks, the factory, uh, we'll arrange things and uh, I'm going to make him a, a fast friend of mine. But it was great to meet him and talk backstage. They were great backstage. Car ride back and then boom, we were off to the premiere. But that's another video. That's another time. I just wanted you to see this kind of news aspect. And then, of course, this has been David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.